How's it going, buddy? And welcome back to Doom 3 for the second time for this episode. Oh boy, I do apologize. I had to delete my other video too because apparently something went wrong. And everything was top right hand corner, like the crosshair was in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And that last video was a complete failure, so this is not a re-upload. I, I can't re-upload it. It literally recorded only that uh, top qu quadrant. Like where this pipe is would be the only thing seen on the screen, you know? But anyway, so, which means I have to do the recording all over again. So this this game was never a uh, let's play for the first time. I was just playing the Dooms in order. Did I kill this guy already? I think I did. Yeah, okay, yeah, I knocked this thing down. So we're back here. Why don't you quit with the damn music? It's the doorway that gives me music. <laughs> Alright, so. As I mentioned in the last video, which I'm just going to ignore. I'm not going to even pretend the video existed now. Before we know that... Okay, so. Can't go up the ladder. That's fine. Oh, hey. Apparently I didn't go into this room. Anyway, so, I had shown that you can start over here and do a running jump and land right there in the first episode. That's fine. Uh, we understand that. We understand that and uh, acknowledge it. That is not what we're going to do. Instead, we're going to get hurt by uh, Girder, apparently. This is the exit you can take. You can jump off that thing just fine, but it's unnecessary. But I would recommend coming over here and saving before you do this because in the last video and this one, I'm probably going to end up getting killed. So, hop over here. Get your feet on this uh, cable and you got a type rope walk all the way across. Now, coming off of this, jumping off of this down to here, that's where your problem's going to be because first off, you got to hop up and catch your feet on this little rail. You can see there's a little railing right here. Not very wide, but if you get your feet on it, you hop over it just fine. Can't really move the crane, so there's some items up there. You gotta get those the first time. You can't come and get them now. I think some armor shards and maybe shotgun shells, I think is what was up there. Now, I could just go ahead and no clip and come up here and show you what's up here. So you gotta grab this on your way to when they send you on the mission when the crane is still movable before everything goes horribly wrong. You can, you can come across by jumping over or by using the uh, type rope down here. And you can uh, climb the ladder and uh, go ahead and get these items. But you know what? Since I'm right here, let's no clip our way out of it. Grab the shotgun shells because reasons. <laughs> no clip myself back into existence. I'm only no clipping because it's fun. And to step out of the bounds sometimes and see what's beyond the screen, besides nerve wracking. Uh, for instance, I wish I did that now that I think about it. Oh, that would have been so funny. Getting back to here, I had to run past that door when, you know, when that, the door breaches open, the creature, ah, the up reaches through the screen. No clip to the other side of that as soon as that happens. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. It's like some kid's holding a, uh, uh, an action figure, like, yeah, and the claw comes through the wall. It's like, <laughs> it's bad, but it's funny. Oh my gosh. All right, so. Oh, I haven't even come over here yet. Well, there's no way I'm going to go all the way across the type rope. I showed you how to do that. I'm just going to no clip over here, so we're saving time. I'm already wasting enough time. Hey, buddy. I guess I'll return fire then. And take your shotgun. And some armor shards. And shotgun shells. I'm just going to take everything. do everything then. Yeah, sure, there's an imp in there. Who cares? Thanks for the shells, buddy. Alright, so once again, blah, blah, blah. Come over. Make sure you open the door first, unlike me, who screwed up already. Go ahead and save Mars City again.
really feel like I shouldn't be saving over this just in case I screw up again. There we go. I'm on the cable. Run across. We're seeing it twice now from this direction. Alright, doors unlocked. Go on in. You got some armor shards up here. Your pistol ammo and your first energy cells of the game. This is your first ones to get. And just in case you're like me and get hurt, some top off. You definitely don't want to have to come back for those. Nah, we're not going to no clip. We're going to save and do this. Remember, kids, cheating is for losers. Guess what I am? Oh, no! Oh my gosh, I overcorrected like twice. I was like, step left, step right, no, step back left again! Uh, it's going to be three times, whatever. Yep, that's how you do it. Get in, grab the secrets from the crane, and get out of there. No, no clip necessary. Ugh. Oh, but if you don't want to type rope walk one way, you can always, like I said before, oh, excuse me. This is late at night. I apologize for recording this. I just got done with a, uh, Galdor, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> just got done recording a session of, uh, streaming with my friend Galdor. Ugh. <sighs> Where you at, buddy? Oh, you're that way. Anybody else? No? Okay, then. Just die already, dagnabbit! Son of a gun. But yeah, I, as I said in the other video, I'll cover it again since we're here and now. This is not everybody's favorite Doom. Doom 3 is the, uh, the, why is this game Doom? And I understand it completely. Because, um, I brought up Corridor 17 in the last time I recorded this. I need to stop doing that. I'm not going to pretend that I didn't record it, uh, this episode already. But, uh... If this was labeled Corridor 17 rather than Doom, not gonna lie, that guy scared me slightly. I don't know if you saw that little wiggle I did. Like, oh crap! I was like, what do I do? Forgot about him. But uh, if you name this game Corridor 17, the Redux or whatever, uh, it'd have been a great game, and no one would complain because no, not many people remember Corridor 17. Let's see if I can get up there, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, I mean. It would have just been a great game of its own type. It would have been... Uh, it wouldn't have the Doom label, but that's the thing. Just because it has a label of a game doesn't mean it's a good game. I was the only one still alive. Now, if you've ever seen the images of uh, what Doom 4, a.k.a. Doom 2016, would have been, it was the sequel to this game. So, just be glad we got Doom 2016 the way we got it. Otherwise, it would have literally been the sequel to this. Please. And, like I said, this isn't a bad game. It's dated now. I mean, I don't know what's in there. it definitely feels like it's a older game at this point. But, it's still not a bad game. And I appreciate it for not being a bad game. Darn world knows somebody's going to show up in there. I don't need grenades yet. There we go. But yeah, I mean, it had the Doom label, so everybody's like, oh, it's going to be a great game. But because it had the Doom label, it made itself very disappointing because the game uh, didn't live up to everyone's expectations. Everybody's expecting... You know, run and gun, big guns. Doom 2016 is what everybody was expecting with this one. It's like, oh, it's going to be a badass continuation of the most badass character to badassery. But nope, it was a, let's go hide uh, while we try to survive zombies that... Ow. Jerk, you're hurting me. It's not allowed, I'm supposed to hurt you. Mind you, I am using a pistol, and you had a shotgun, so, I mean, it is technically my fault. I 
just don't want to waste the uh, precious shotgun shells. I mean, we're doing all right on ammo. I was, I've been using shotgun a little bit more lenient than I did last time. Getting something like that to happen is nice, though. So this is where, uh, hey buddy, this is our, uh, actually that's not him, that's where we checked in at though, that's the uh, check-in station, which means somebody stole our bag, yeah, that's what I'm worried about, someone took our uh, duffel bag, jerks, uh, get in contact with Mars Command about that, thieves have run off with our baggage, unacceptable. Highly unsecretary. Don't die. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. No, you won't. Wasn't worth the shotgun shell. That's just the best way to stop, stop these guys in the game. It's like, hey, just step to the left. Step to the right just before they pull the trigger, make them a hit scan the wall, and uh, you're good. Yeah, good. You, I could have used someone like you in my Doom, uh, Brutal Doom Let's Plays. I had turret buddies and I had human buddies, but I didn't have a mobile turret buddy. Kind of makes me sad. Let that recharge for a second. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Oh, hey. Where did you come from? Because there wasn't any body, literally, besides these corpses. And I made those. Jeez, okay, that scared the crap out of me. You should not be making sound because you don't have the vocal cords necessary to do that. I'm just a flapping tongue on the top of the throat, you know? <laughs> like some uh, malformed turkey gobbling. Worst gobbler I've ever heard. Yep, just save that good ammo for later. Come on. See, his gun sounds like a Magnum. Mine sounds like a little, uh, 22. <laughs> the gun sound effects are so different for the exact same weapon. I feel like they looked at this design and said, Oh, it's a Magnum, uh, revolver. We'll give it a, a revolver sound effect. And it's like, then you get it, a semi-auto pistol, and you're like, What? I mean, the grip is definitely a revolver grip. It's not a semi-auto grip. So I can't really blame the designers for being confused. It's like, but I thought Doom Guy had a semi-auto pistol. He did. All right. Well, we'll make it semi-auto then. And the other guys are like, hey, it's a revolver. Sweet. <laughs> Left hand didn't tell right hand what was going on. All right, fire guy. You guys are, you guys are a little bit more intense than you'd want them to be. Yep, that did not go as well as you hoped it would have. Stupid gun. Well, so that happened the way it did. Uh, how much rifle rounds do I got? That's good enough. I think we'll start using this now. I figured, you know, use the pistol while I can, kind of get a little more use out of it, otherwise it's completely useless. Any 
if I have a shopping list they want me to send off for them? Okay. Take that. <sighs> oh man, I wish I knew the code. This is a long ass transmission. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it, and then I'm going to go ahead and leave. And then come back when it's about time. Audio log for Dr. Casey, currently stationed at Mars City. Because I got pissed in my last video. I'm like, why won't this audio just end? Number of reports indicates that 10 Save that for later. Overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel is truly in the 30 to 40 percent range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. I have several nurses and a couple of doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. Do we have a uh, being overworked? Hmm. That's probably where, like, duck under or something. Did I choose the wrong one? Shoot, I hate Dr. that. Mark Casian, it was that one. Patient Jonathan Woods was admitted after complaining of Come on, boys. According to the nurse, Mr. Woods was calm. I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. Wow, personality shifts. Mr. Will's one shift. I'd like to have that help. The scalpel apparently started his crime. With the assistance of Sorry, buddy. We managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Will's was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed. But in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue. Wow. <laughs> I can only guess at the cause of this problem. All right, give me the code, damn it. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey. Thank you. That was worth the wait. That's the reason I didn't just ditch it. I was like, no, I, I, need, I need the items. I don't remember what the items were, but I need them. And it was a good thing, because I needed them. Now... I showed you that TCL code, the uh, the walkthrough rolls. Uh, I only bring that up because I just got the code for it. It's a no clip. TCL is the uh, Fallout, uh, and I think Skyrim walkthrough walls. But yeah, in the very beginning of the game, <laughs> this is where the fun begins. Because if you remember when you first came in here, when I in the last episode I came over here and everything wasn't dead or bleeding, I came in here. I was like, oh wow. You got a plasma rifle right here. You got all this stuff right here. Yeah. If you know that code and you can open this up, you can go in there and steal all the guns. So if you wrote down the code, I guess you could use it. Or if you just typed in, uh, uh, not IDQD, uh, no clip, you could walk through the wall and grab all the guns, ammo, and explosives that were in there and just load up. And, you know, in that first fight with the guys like, no, I built the cage for the devil. I, it's real. And all that stuff. You said there with the plasma rifle, like, yeah, I know it's real. Just waiting for you to transform, buddy. Just give me a few seconds. I'm going to vaporize you with a laser gun. But, yeah, otherwise you got to wait. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, Tilda is right underneath the tab. Or, uh, you know what I mean. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility. All right. 30th, so... 584 is the code. So I guess if you wrote that down, you can come over here and just type in 584. Then again, they might just kick you out and be like, hey, you're not supposed to be in here. And just grab all the guns, ammo, and explosives. I guess that's the armory sergeant. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines in the checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. Oh, I'm maxed out. I was like, why can't I pick that up? Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay. But some combat experience will go a long way right now. Marine. Sergeant Tyson, out. I can't believe you're still alive. I can't believe you are, too. to Mars City, all passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. It happens. You can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. Eliminate. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission mm -hmm. sent. Head toward Alpha Lab. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. 
Good job. Could you give me maximum security Good clearance luck. so I don't have to worry about any more locks? No? Okay. Alright, so I did this last time, but for those curious of uh, what's beyond this door, since you can't go through it anymore... First off, we got good old turret buddy still waiting and defending. Don't know why they didn't stay on this side. They came to this side where they got massacred. I mean, look at that. Everybody's just dead on this side. It's like, if you stayed right here, you had a minigun to defend you. Oh, well. And now this headache. I'm beyond the void! So, yeah, they didn't even bother rendering the other room. So... <laughs> If you're curious of whether or not what happened to Marine Command, whether or not it was still functioning, it doesn't exist anymore. It was absorbed by the Hell Gates and thrown into abyss. Thank you. I was waiting on you. You cost me four more bullets than I had ammo for. That's actually very sad. So, yeah, I had, uh not gotten the same amount of ammo back that I used. You better have more ammo on you. Nope, even less bullets. So, these guys' magazines carry less ammo than it takes to kill them. That's actually kind of important to know, because it's like, man, uh, how many shots is it going to take to uh, win? Always less than it takes me to make it happen. the hell? Did you roll? What the hell was that? First time I've ever seen somebody do that. Be like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo! Now, are they actually supposed to be talking, or... I mean, are the demon guys actually communicating with each other through radio? Do they actually know how that works? It's like, hey, yeah, um, radio communication... I know we just got to Earth and all, and we possess all these soldiers, but, uh, turns out radio's really useful. I do like this guy. He actually has a functioning flashlight. Which, to me, is actually kind of neat for a video game. It's like, uh, you know, back then, it's like, oh, wow, he's got an actual flashlight. You could follow the beam around and actually lights up the room a little bit. That's cool. Mine, obviously, has a bigger <laughs> effect. Stay down. Sorry, Turkey Punch. You're out of order. Objection! Alright. Let's enjoy this scenery again. Psychological services are free and confidential. Really? You can help me in all my psychological problems? <laughs> Good to know. It is really cool, in my opinion, that when you first saw your character, he was wearing a green BDU-like uh, undershirt. And he picked up the green armor that we saw in the armory downstairs, and he's been wearing it ever since. So that's actually one of those kind of attention to details I like. What I don't like is that huge-ass material on his back. I mean, look at that. Some giant red, like, oil filter, and I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be hanging off his back. Can't really get a good look otherwise, but kind of an interesting idea. We can't do a uh, follow camera, so we can't really see what's on his back. But it looks a little different than these guys. Not that he landed on his back to begin with. Yeah, oh, turret buddy. Turret buddy, he's shooting through you. Turret buddy, he'll turn you into glue. Yeah, you had it coming. Come on. There we go. Need to try and top off my bullets, but I didn't get quite enough. Any one of these will do. Just hop out the window. There we go. I'm sorry you're running around so much. If you just stand still, it won't be that bad. Poor little robot buddy. We love her little precious muffins. Could you just, like, follow me to hell and back? I'd really appreciate having this much extra firepower. Green. You gotta get the top of the 
I'll let you do all the killing. I'll keep all the health. Pick up all the ammo. I mean, they're kind of weird looking little drones, but I mean, they're not bad. I did my part, damn it. Man, the uh, undead infection really happened pretty bad here, didn't it? I mean, this entire room was just full of uh, non-cooperative uh, former humanoids. Heard something open up over here. Or maybe the drone opened it up. Hmm. I guess so. It's my private office. Private server, I guess. But anyway. Ow! Kill him, damn it. Don't just go to sleep. Thank you. Yes, keep killing. I, I don't get much time to rest in this game, so if you let me, I'll do what I can. Haha, <laughs> we interrupted you throwing that barrel. Whew. That hurt me slightly. Thank you, buddy. You were a great help. I will miss you. I d uh, it's just sad to see those little guys go to sleep. It's like, no, you're not done yet. Get back up. The fight's not over, soldier. Follow me. Sorry, we're only allowed to go between yellow blocks on the ground. Aw. Aw, oh, dag darn it. I thought I was gonna keep him. Call him Polly. Polly Butylene. Alright. Let's see. I just scanned to see if there's any set of numbers in an order. Really seeing any. Eleven sixteen isn't gonna do it. I guess it must just be a get close to it and open it up. Yep, it is. Okay. Yeah, never pick up the ammo until after you're reloaded. Otherwise, you just end up wasting whatever it is you haven't topped off for. It isn't like you'd go 612 rounds because you have 12 more bullets to put into your gun. No, it just tops off at 600. So if you have one bullet left in your gun you haven't reloaded yet, then you're just out all those uh, 59 other rounds you could have picked up. So reload your gun before you pick up the ammo if you get a chance. Uh, we're just flying through this map, aren't we? It's 30 minutes and uh, we're already uh, through the next level. Almost like I d recorded this episode already once, you know what I mean? These old jump scares aren't as great as they were anyway. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation. UAC is taking is that over. What you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. It's in my Swan. control. I'll manage this. I you am the one in control here. Yeah. I am a Sith Lord. Understand. Yes, Petruga. I think I do understand. BFG. Okay. Plan B. <laughs> Plan B is in BFG. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's just a bad start. No need in wasting good bullets when I can just have a little fun. Save this for later on when I'm coming back. That too. Now, in fact, I'm going to save all this for later. No need in wasting the good stuff, right? Uh, we'll have ammo to spare later anyway. That was a jerk move. He distracted me with his gunfire, making my screen oscillate, and I didn't see him uh, duck down. 
But yeah, I mean, I got shot to hell and back, and all I did was lose a little bit of health. Hey, cardboard boxes are bulletproof. Sweet. Wow, thank you, armor-plated uh, cardboard boxes. Man, space was won because of you. <laughs> Meanwhile, when you see some blood pull out, it's like, oh god, Solid Snake was in this box. No! Why? It's like, I was trying to hide from the demons. Adrian Dollar, what you got for me? Hopefully the locker code. Alright. 586, let's go with that one. I know he's coming. I mean, there's plenty of health and everything laying around. I wasn't really worried about it. I got our first grenades. Not that I really need them. I, I don't think in my last two recordings that I used a single grenade. I, I may have tossed one just to see how much damage it did, and I was like, that's disappointing. It just left. Alright, well... We're purposely skipping grabbing the health. No real need to grab it yet. See, the problem is, these are cheap jump scares. And that's one of the things that I feel like it kind of loses its uh, feel for it. You know, if if it was, you know, like, scary sound effect. Dead Space is a great example. I love that game. Please let me know in the comment section if you ever want to see me go back and finish Dead Space 1 and play Dead Space 2 on my channel. I would love to do that. But... I ne it was one of my early games I recorded, and I didn't get really very many views, so I ditched the series, like I do a lot of the games I play. It's like, hey, I don't have anybody watching this on the channel, and I'm not sure if anybody wants to watch it. Hey, I shot at you and they didn't even hit you, and now you hit me? Sure, Kim. But yeah, I mean, if you want to see me play, like, Dead Space, I'll be more than happy to go back and play it. So let me know your opinion, your thoughts and everything on the game. I turned him into mush. Get, get away from me. And I'll tell you, you are on the other side of that door. Let's go take a look. You're not there. Oh. You went up, didn't you? Nah, can't see him. So he must have de-spawned uh, up there. So I guess he that's exactly what he did. He ran over here, hopped up, and then despawned when he went through that. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Characters out of scene, might as well pull them out of the game, you know? But this was disappointing. If you remember my Doom uh, 1 and 2 Let's Plays that I just got done doing, if you haven't ever seen my Doom 1 and 2, go watch it. Um, backpacks only meant one thing. When you found a backpack, you went... Pew! Because getting a backpack meant you now have double ammo capacity the first time you pick one up. And I was like, wow, look at this, a backpack. I'm about to go to, uh, what do I have, 600? So, uh, uh, 1,200 rounds of ammunition. Woo! Nope, only got a handful of every bullet. I, I, I didn't even max out. Look, I, I am uh, seven rounds short of being maxed out on ammunition. This was full of disappointments. It's a backpack of sadness right there. It's, it's disappointments uh, compiled upon disappointments. Uh, but, whatever. Like I said, the game is good, but it's not doom good. That's what I said, Corridor 7, which, by the way, I don't think anyone's using that IP. So, I mean, if someone from Bethesda happens to hear it, it's like, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe we should go back and create Corridor 17 and can kind of revive this genre. Because that's what Corridor 17 was like. It was kind of like this game. But with uh, more of a Doom aspect. Hey, buddy. Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Okay. Surprised us. This came out of nowhere. What the hell's wrong with your eyes? There they are. There's still a few squads operating. But they're all cut off from each other. 
Can I see your back? You got the same kind of vest I think I have. Maybe a little more interesting version. I'm sorry, old yeller. I'm gonna have to put you down. Oh, he was getting better? Dang, I'm sorry. Hmm. No, I'm not trying to teabag him. I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of the same vest, but I'm not seeing the equipment that was on his back shoulder area that I saw on mine. Don't know. We're a special protagonist armor, you know? A little different than everybody else's. A lot of cod. Oh, God, I've been shot. Sorry, Snake. Didn't know you survived. I took a ration. Need a rattlesnake. Got better. Come on around the corner. <laughs> So that's the thing you can do. You just set up an ambush like that and just be like, eh, I win. Whatever. So that won't open for a while. Yay, jump skiers. See, I, I do find that if you put your gun barrel up under their chin and pull the trigger, it's done. Single shot for an imp. Which shouldn't be. I mean, as we've already learned in this game, the enemies are way too resilient to ammo. It's like, mm, that demon took a, you know, three shotgun shots to the face. The now, if it's like a Baron of Hell or, you know, something like that, a caco demon, like, yeah, I can understand that. But when an imp has the kind of health you'd expect out of a uh, mancubus, it's like, ew. I to say, I remember that ambush. That was a cheap ambush last time. Speaking of cheap ambushes, let's go see what's upstairs. I didn't do that last time. You were just sitting in this cubby hole waiting on me. You jerk. You wouldn't even like hanging out with lady imps up there. Uh, there's a little dressing room waiting for his uh, part in the show. You coming? Gotcha. Yeah, point blank shotgun is just OP. But if you're not point blank, you got to cover some ground. You got you know 20 yards between you and the enemy. You just hide in the corner, wait for him to get there, because you ain't gonna hit him with a shotgun otherwise. Call ended. Oh no! By the way, this is the. Uh... There we go. This is the air duct we heard Kruger out of earlier, talking to the guys. This is the uh, phone call he made. This was the suitcase the guy was carrying. Let me turn off the flashlight, maybe get a better look at it. Property of the uh, UAC uh, Delta Weapons Model BFG-9000. So there you go. Yes, his friend was in fact carrying the BFG with him, as I believe I mentioned in the first episode. It's kind of hard to read that, though. I mean, you had to be at the correct angle. You're too sharp an angle, you can't even read it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn to putty, why don't you? <sighs> this room again. Top that off, why not? Well, not really topped off, but you know what I mean. Now, I admit, the first time this happened to me in the game, I freaked out a little bit. The very first time. I mean, we're talking back when this game was first released. Jump skiers were uh, great. This graphics were pretty darn good. Like I said, this game feels dated now compared to graphics of other things. I mean... I'm playing Resident Evil 2 on my channel right now, and this has nothing by comparison to Resident Evil 2's graphics. Pretty done. So. At the time, this was scary as all get out. I do like how you can look at the hallway. Do, do, do. What's that sound? Oh, it's Pinky. By the way, I am playing Kinchy. I, I want to play Kenshi on uh, uh, a stream. 
because Kenshi is awesome. Kenshi is a great game. It is basically The Sims, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Dark Souls Sims. <laughs> a horrible analogy, I know, but it is really tough, really violent, incredibly brutal. You, you, you're going to die a lot. Ow. I'm trying to slide past you. Let me by, damn it. There we go. Disintegrate so I can't look at your big metal booty. See, that's the kind of role I was expecting out of uh, you, but not the uh, soldier earlier, you know? But yeah, I mean... Kenshi is a great game, but it is not one that I can do a YouTube video on. I, I can literally spend eight hours doing almost nothing. Because it's, you know, the tedious stuff. It's, oh, let me uh, plow this field. Oh, let me go send the soldier to um, a nearby town that he's going to spend ten minutes running to so I can rob it in six hours when the night uh, time comes and the sun goes down. It's like, wow, that's great. Um... I haven't saved it in a while. I want to go ahead and save it so just in case something goes wrong, we don't have to go back a long way to the beginning of the episode. Uh, yeah, thank you. I know stairs are horrible. But anyway, yeah, so it is a good game. It's just not one that I wouldn't want to live stream. Uh, because it's just, it doesn't play well with others. Wow, that cardboard box saved my butt there, didn't it? It still hit me a couple times, but I would have took an extra hit if it didn't. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it is difficult. It's got great mods. Oh, and the other thing that's so awesome about Kenshi, since I'm talking about a completely different game than I'm playing right now, because I actually enjoy that a lot more than I'm playing this one. But we got to do this. This is like uh, taking medicine. you got to you got to take the medicine you don't want to taste just to get it out of the way. So we will be going to Doom 2016, and we're going back to Doom 1 and 2 as well. So th this is not over. We, we are definitely going to be enjoying more Doom. Now that is dead space. The unidentified growth on an alien uh, spaceship, or space station. Spaceship in the first dead space game. But yeah, I'd love to go back and play... Uh, uh, Dead Space. But that's one of those gotta do it when we can deals. See, there's the BFG 9000. Now, mind you, it looks a little sucky compared to the other version. It's, notice his hands inside the thing. It's like a glove. Like an energy beam gun glove. Alright, as long as we're talking about bullets, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Kenshi is a great game, but it's just too long. I mean, I wish I could pull open my, uh, tab to show you how long I've been playing it. Uh, apparently, also, the game, I haven't done it because I've done, like, hard restarts where you close out of the game and load up a brand new game from the title screen. You're kind of rage quitting out of it when you end up losing. But apparently, if you die in the game, let's say you build yourself on a magnificent city, and then you get yourself killed, and you start a new game while that same save is active, you, apparently, I, I'm not, I haven't seen it myself, but I've heard through uh, online links that you can come across your city if you go back to that same spot. It'll be persistent, as long as you don't save over your current save, and start up a, you know, basically you'd have to load up your save where you died at, and then start a new game from there, and then boom, your city's there. But you may be under controls of bandits or uh, something like that, which is kind of neat in its own regard. Like, oh, that city I built, uh, bandits killed me and now they've taken over, you know? So it's cool things like that. And I mean, it's like that God uh, view uh, tilt down camera kind of perspective, but then you can like zoom in real close and watch the fights. But yeah, I hopefully will soon have better internet I got AT&T, it sucks, I want Comcast, I hopefully can get Comcast at this location, 
If I can, great. I will get Comcast and I'll be able to live stream again because the last time I tried to live stream with AT&T, um, it was choppy. It, it was one of those kind of it's stuttering, uh, nothing kept up, everything was uh, broken, low, uh, low, uh, what's it called? Low polygon count, I guess. So, I mean, it just wasn't worth it for the episode to uh, actually do that. So, much better if I uh, play it when I got better internet, for sure. But I'd love to do it. It's a great, fun game. And I'm not an expert, not by any chance. I mean, the, the current one I'm playing, that's the best part. Fallout 76 sucks. We'll just straight up say that. It's it, They went, hey, let's give you an open world and let you do whatever you want in it, but we're not going to give you direction. We're not going to give you NPCs. We're not going to give you quests with uh, characters to you know, go, oh, man, I hope this person survives. No, they give you uh, recordings and robots. So, bad call in my opinion. My humble little opinion. But uh, besides that, Uh, this game is also like Fallout 76 in the sense that it has no primary, uh, story. You, you do what you want, where you want, when you want. But there are characters to meet. There are, um, dialogues between random characters you're walking down the hill. I've met Beep. If you have ever met Beep, you'll understand that Beep is my main character. <laughs> oh my gosh, Beep is the most adorable, uh, serial killer I could possibly ever make. Or ninja, or you turn him into a samurai warrior, or whatever the hell you want to make Beep into. But Beep is Beep, and Beep is the best. Um, you gotta understand that there, there's different races in the game, because it's kind of a. The best way I could describe uh, Kenshi, I know we're talking so much about Kenshi right now, I'm sorry about that, uh, is the fact that it's. I don't know the story because I haven't found any good lore to tell me what's going on yet. There are books to read and stuff like that and you pick up pieces, but the planet is covered in what looks like spaceship parts. And it, it feels like a kind of a Star Wars situation, like maybe there was a galactic battle above this planet and the spaceships just crashed onto the planet or maybe terraforming the planet and something went wrong and you're, all the races that are on the planet are just the survivors of that. And they're living a post-apocalyptic world where you're sitting there mining... Rather than mining giant uh, iron nodes, it's like, oh look, here's a chunk of a freaking spaceship. Let's mine that for iron. I'm getting the metal out of the spaceship chunks. Well, that took two shots. Were you an upgraded imp? I don't know. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like cool little things like that, little details that just you know, neat that I enjoy. And you sit there trying to piece together this lore because it's like I went to this desert. And there's freaking laser beams shooting down from the heavens like some, um, um, what, what is it, uh, oh, I'm forgetting the name of the game right now, uh, Command and Conquer, uh, kind of like, uh, what was it, Tiberian Sun or something like that, where you got the beam, uh, space beam laser cannon, it's like, well, shit, you know, <laughs> we're getting bombarded by lasers, and it's non-stop, the beams start and stop all the time, so I feel like it's some kind of space terraformer. That's just out of control. And turn the land underneath it into a desert as it continuously cuts uh, circles in the sand. There's kind of a geth-like robots. There are uh, uh, humans, uh, the scorched humans, which uh, I made, I made, I will straight up say I made Mystique from X-Men. She has dark blue skin, she has red hair, and she is usually one of my starting party members. I, I've been saving a lot of the party members I've been making so I can go back and use them again and again. I made my own character, of course. Who doesn't? That's for shooting me. I was talking, damn it. Fall Simmons, what you got for me? This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network right. security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this... Anyway, so... And Beep is part of the uh, bug race. They're kind of a, a neat little alien species. 
The intrusion came about to say, I'm gonna grab this stuff while I'm here. From the Delta conference. They piggyback the virus on one of the supercomputer requests. But, uh, they're, they're bug people. The they can't wear shoes. They got little stick feet and stuff like that. Some they work in a hive. And Beep is a outcast. He said he's defective, which is really adorable and really sad. He's, you know, this bug person who the queen threw him out because she's like, oh, you're defective. And Beep's just like, that's, that's Beep's thing. When you first meet Beep, he goes, Beep, hello, could you use a friend? And it's like, oh, this poor thing. It's like, hi, Beep. And he's like, how did you know my name, Beep? And it's like, oh, and you have the option of choosing, you know, oh, um, well, you said Beep, I thought it was your name, or, oh, I'm just really smart. And if you say that when he's like, wow, I never met someone as smart as you. Can I follow you? And you're like, well, how about you charging? What's money? It's like, you're hired. And Beep's the best. Beep, Beep, Beep is, Beep is best for sure king beep for sure oh my well worth the game just for some beep some solid beep action but yeah <laughs> if you haven't played it i would recommend getting it but know that you're getting into a really rough game because it, it's like the Dark Souls of, uh... Yeah, everybody uses the Dark Souls reference. It's, it's the Dark Souls of Sims, you know? You're going to spend a lot of the game running or dying. I'll just leave it at that, because, uh... If, if you get attacked early in the game, you have to build up... You basically have to build up body scars and broken bones to get your body to you know, actually uh, absorb damage more. You literally have to get beaten up in order to build up your resistance to damage. How about that for an idea of a game? So, some people apparently recommend that you can take slaves and take prisoners and all that kind of stuff in the game, too. So, you throw some guys in a jail that you beat up, you heal them, you strip them of their weapons and armor, and then you uh, basically have cage battles and get in fistfights with them. And as you get in fistfights with them, you gain uh, health or gain uh, protection from it. There you go. I knew somebody was going to have to get up eventually. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you just send your time and, uh, battle a few, uh, baddies. There we go. Let them fight you, let them hurt you, but don't let them kill you, of course. And uh, let your scars heal and get better, uh, more rigid skin, I guess, from your battle injuries and build up your health and armor. And there's a lot of good mods for that game, too. It, it, you have to understand, if you ever played Fallout or Skyrim or Elder Scrolls, period, the Fallout or Elder Scrolls games, you know about how easily moddable, especially for PC, that Elder Scrolls games are and uh, Sky or Fallout games are. This is exactly the same way. This game was lovingly done. Great graphics for uh, the amount of space you're in. But, uh... Also, you have the fact that the game is easily moddable and alternatable that you can have a different experience. Uh, I think I was mentioning early, but I don't think I got into details, that the game allows you to... Uh, have different starts. Like I said, there's no official story, but you kind of create your own story by, unlike Fallout 76, you choose your start. You can choose Rock Bottom, which makes you bare-ass naked in a desert with one arm. You already lost an arm. And that's your start. No money. It's like, hey, you're starving to death, you have uh, one arm, no clothes, in the middle of the desert. Good luck! <laughs> you know? And it's scenarios like that that make you go, how the hell am I supposed to survive? And well, I'd best get good, you know? Because uh, you're going to have to run from every fight for a while until you can get a robot arm put on that stump of yours. You can play... And there's other starts. Like, you can play uh, basically a builder sim where you start up with um, an actual de decent supply of uh, building materials and uh, you start the game, basically. This open? It did not open. I know it does open eventually. Let's 
stupid jump scares. The worst. I bet you'd open now. There we go. I wasn't wrong, but I wasn't right either. So, I mean, you can literally start up with, like, I think it's six companions. I, I, I like the one where it starts up as a nobody. You get no money, but you get five companions. And you're usually put in not-too-bad territory. It, it's considered easy mode, but, you know, this game is hard as hell anyway, so having something that's considered easy is nice. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, and you make the best of what you got. And the only thing that's kind of funny but sad at the same time is the fact that your ninjas, they, there's mods to get rid of it, but your ninjas, when they get high speed skills, like they can run really fast, they will Naruto run with their, their hands thrown behind them like that as they're running. It's, it's funny to watch, but you kind of sit there like, why are they Naruto running? <laughs> or for the young folks, I guess it'd be Baruto, the son of Naruto. But anyway, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those kind of, oh man, I can't believe they went there, but... I mean, it's very Asian-themed. Everything is, you know, you got wooden sandals you can wear and samurai, you know, post-apocalyptic samurai armor you can put on and things like that. Hmm. Bye, soldier. I'll miss you. Actually, I want to see where you're going. The hell did he go? Man, he just took off running, didn't he? Well, we're not supposed to be over there yet, so... I should have followed him quicker than that. Ugh. Shot your intestines. Shot your intestines, too. Jerk. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great game. It's a rough game, but it's a great game. So, oh, what was the code for this one? This isn't the one that has the, uh... Ring around the rosy. That was not the right time for that effect, by the way. This game is attempted jump scares. All right, Kyle, give me your uh, code for that locker. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Two o'clock is not the number I'm looking the, uh, for. The elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational. Great, I'm going to listen to the radio log to get it. Shit. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident. Terrible accident. You can tell by how you know he's reading the script. He's like, no emotion is all like, we had a terrible accident. The man died. Oh well, we had burgers at six, you know. I'm gonna stay quiet so you can listen to the audio log. It's just there's no emotion in this conversation at all. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency metal supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. 752. I'm going to shot in the back here in a second. Yeah, emergency medical supplies. Hand grenades, ammunition, body armor. You know, the normal medical stuff you need. I mean... Did they expect a demon invasion? Is that is that why they have all the stuff in here? Got it. Uh, but yeah. So great game, fun game. Get it if you can. If you can't, oh well. But, yeah. Kinchy, all-around good game. I could spend hours and hours and hours playing it. I, I would rather... 
I really hate to say that because it sounds kind of bad, you know, since I'm playing a Let's Play right now, but <laughs> when I rather not record and just play Kenshi just because it's fun, that's a winner. I, I, there's very few games I picked up that I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I, I want to save this because I want to record it and put it on um, stream, or I want to save this game and uh, record it so I can put it on YouTube. Kenshi's like, screw that, I'm playing Kenshi, <laughs> you know? It, it's, it's a very enjoyable game. I'm having no problem at all voicing my opinion. I'm not paid advertise or anything like that. I'm just talking about it because it's a good game, you know? I ain't getting a pay cut from this. Uh, but whatever. Hmm, I'll help somebody by saving battery file and backing up the system. So, when you can open up? Woo! You want to come around the corner? Peekaboo! Oh, I missed. I missed that shotgun blast. Could save myself some health if I did that correctly. Well, that's where I need to get. We'll get that item to win the episode. How about that? But as much as I talked up another game while playing Doom 3, like I said before, it's old. It's not as classic as original Doom 1 and 2, but it still is a good game. It's just not Doom quality good game. And that's just kind of what makes it suck, and why I'll talk about another game like Kinshi instead of talking about Doom. Sorry, Doom. It's not you. Oh, yeah. Actually, it is you. Uh, but Doom 3, not really Doom, period. Doom, period. The Doom that no one talks about. Like, but I only came to give you a hug. I didn't want to hurt you. Yeah, he's dead too. All right, like I said, we're gonna get this and we'll end the episode. So. Gas leak stopped. Fire Wonderful. Extinguished. We'll end the episode right here. So thank you, everybody, for stopping by and joining. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe, future content. If you like it, drop a couple of your thoughts, opinions, this and other things. And uh, if you have played Kenshi or feel like, it, let me know in the comment section too, man. It's a great game. Let me know if you really want to see me play it on stream, because uh, it's got some great mods. I will play mods on, because, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, these mods are game enhancers. They're not even like, ultimate god mode button. No, I mean, it's, it's you know, uh, things like, uh, how can I describe it? Building indoors, building rooftop gardens, things like that. I mean, it, it's, you know quality of life, you know, things that's like, oh man, they really should have put that in the game. Fishing. There's another one. Y you can get fish in the game by buying them from stores. That's the only way to do it. There's, there's water in different places, but you can't physically fish to get the, uh, the fish out of the water. So, you know, things like that are neat little things that don't really affect the game too badly and uh, can make some very interesting gameplay. But besides that, but yeah, let me know about Doom 3 too. Don't, don't just think it's just all about Kenshi since I'm playing Doom 3. Uh, till next time, take care, be safe out there, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.